Hi, uh, this is Jaidul from ECA Glaze and we are very welcome for this video. Today we are going to discuss about how we can do SEO for moving company. If you are watching this video, it means you are very much interested uh, to grow up your business on online by doing SEO, right? So without any further delay, let's start this uh, video and you will get a, a good information. So please keep watching. So here we can target a particular region right so for this video we are going to target richmond area right so let's start this keyword so we are going to uh, search at the uh, very basic keyword right so after that we are going to uh, find what are the competitors are and then we are we will move one by one so for this we have already uh, created a step by step uh, guide that helps uh, to understand all the process so let's uh, start with uh, process number 1 right here we can see i have just search a basic keywords movers in richmond to know what are the competitors are and how much the competition in this area now we are going to find the actual competitors for this query right here we can see these are the uh, com these are the result that showing from google my business right and now we will scroll down here and see which are the competitors are ranking uh, actually targeting this uh, keywords right this are the you these are the company that actually uh, not targeting for this specific region right because if we open these sites then we can see they have covered a multiple area but we are going to focus those competitors who are only targeting those particular region like rich mode right here you can see this uh, sites has covered different types of region but we are not going to target this competitor we are going to take or uh, find those competitors who are specifically uh, targeted for this particular region rich mode right so we will scroll down and try to find those competitors here we can see this these are the two sites ranking for their main domain this is very important when we search any any query on google if we find a do if we find a site that that is ranking for only their home page that means this site is uh, is optimized for their home page only right so this is a good opportunity for us that might be a, a good competitor uh, for our business so we will open one by one and we will do research further to get more information about these sites now what we will do so here we can see we have already list down the first steps in find top three to five computers right as as you can see we have already found two computers for this uh, video we are only focused this uh, two computers only right if if we target three to five more, more computers then the video will be very long right so two computers will be enough to understand uh, how we do seo and how we can do uh, seo uh, computer research right and keyword find and keyword research right so now our next step is to check that keywords that our competitors are targeting right so for this we are going to use acm rush so we will open acm rush and find the keywords uh, and, and find this url to get the keywords that they are ranking here you can see the sites is ranking almost 6.6k traffic ranking for 6.6k traffic right and the trap the keywords they are ranking for 13.2k right this is very much uh, very very good amount of traffic they are getting right so our goal is to what to know what types of keywords they are targeting and from those keywords we are going to take the low competitive keywords right so for this we will open these keywords here and we will scroll down and check what are those comp uh, those keywords are right 
so at the very fast after getting these competitors we have to know uh, which area they actually they are targeting right so we can see this is uh, our main competitors which is targeting on richmond right so after confirm this then we will start working on azr acm rest right and here you can see these are the keywords they are targeting at, uh, after uh, reach uh, after this search result we will add some filters right in uh, in this filters we are going to add one filters called the number of keywords right the word counts they have in in each keyword right the more word will be the more easy to rank right so more words means the keyword will be long tail keyword as you know the long tail keyword and short tail keyword is very important for SEO if we start targeting on short tail keywords then it will be very hard for us to rank right because short tails keyword has very high competition very big companies are targeting those type of keywords but as a beginner as a newbie as a newbie or a new competitor as a new new company owner we will always start working on uh, on long tail keywords right so we are going to find those keywords which has uh, a minimum four to five words right so we will add that filter at very fast here we can see these are the keywords that has at least four words in that keyword right now after adding one filter we can see the number of keyword is very uh, very high still very high right so we are going to uh, narrow down this filter narrow down this competition so what we will do we will add we will increase the word count to the minimize the competition so now we can see 2.7k keywords right so we will scroll down and try to find if we find any good keywords or not we can see there are different types of keyword they have targeting right so it may be confused for us because these are the keywords these are the keywords that they have targeted in their blog section right blog section means they have uh, tried to cover all the different types of information that people are interested in moving company right if we if i hire any moving company then i may search this type of information right furniture resale shop near me maybe this type of keyword uh, i am searching before going to hire any moving company this is why this company this uh, company owner has published this type of content right so you will scroll down and see here we can see moving company is Richmond VA right so if we open this keyword then SMRS will show further information for this particular keyword for this particular keyword SMRS shows the search volume is 140 right in globally 520 but we are going to focus only for 140 one thing we are, i'm going to show you that I'm, I'm i'm going to confirm you that the search volume 140 is does not mean you are going to get only 140 traffic right once you rank for this particular keyword then you will get different types of uh, traffic from different types of keywords right google will automatically provide you ranks from, from other keywords right this is also a good keywords best moving companies in Richmond VA right so here we can see these keywords has a good search volume 140 search volume per month and 15 CPC it means this competition is very high right competitors are bidding on these keywords uh, at a very high cost right and for these keywords the number of traffic they are uh, getting on top 10 sites are very um, very good right okay now 
we will try to add another filter like we are going to add another filter this because i am going to know what are those keywords that starting with or that has content at least mov word right so let's see what are those keywords there are only there has on 96 keywords right so if we can see yeah here we are going to get some good keywords you can see cheap moving companies richmond va right so if we open this keyword like uh, like previous then you can see the competition become very low the search volume uh, become 20 and the competition is going to low we can see that yeah we can see the traffic also also low for these uh, keywords uh, that are uh, ranking on google top 10 but we can see that if we target these keywords then we can easily rank on google top 10 easily rank uh, as compared to this keyword because if we start uh, start targeting this keyword at the initial stage then we have to we have to invest a lot of money on content as well as backlinks right so we are not going to do that we will do smart work right we will go target this keyword in our home page as a age one keyword uh, sorry as a main keyword then after ranking for this keyword then we will start targeting this keyword right and google will automatically pro provide us different uh, provide us rank for different types of keywords one by one so always we will start working on very low competitor like this right so we are going to uh, find few more keywords here i am i am uh, spending this most of the time in the air because this is the most important factor right if we take any high competitive keywords at the initial stage then our all our all hard work will be will be lost right so uh, always try to uh, give your best at this at this stage We can see this cheap long distance moving company. This is also a good keywords. If we scroll down and see the competition is very very high for these keywords, right? Search volume also low, but still competition is very high. We are not going to target this keyword at the initial stage, right? So still our main keyword is this one, but we will still try trying to find few more keywords. We will uh, see this keyword best moving companies for senior. Let's see. The search volume 50. This is also a good keyword as per my view because you can see these sites are not exactly moving company. Those are the informational site. And I, I hope you are understood what I am going to say. These sites are informational company and we can easily beat them because they are only focused there on different types of information on uh, on different types of topics. But we are going to cover only moving only moving related topics, right? So we for this we can easily beat this type of uh, competitors, right? So this is on a uh, uh, this is also our good 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 keywords, right? So so this keywords and these keywords will be uh, our uh, one of these keyword will be our main keyword and one of will be uh, secondary keywords right uh, we can select any of them for main keyword as well as secondary keywords right so i hope uh, you you have already understand these steps how this uh, main keyword and secondary keywords work right and for this uh, secondary for this uh, second competitors uh, we have uh, research for this competitor let me uh one the fly moving guys okay we have already researched this uh, this company this company right and we can also research this one also let's see just 
uh, how this company is ranking for this we can see the company is ranking 1.3k traffic on 1.3k keywords right so if we open this keywords so we can add one filter here word count at least five to know uh, the maximum and the maximum long long tail keywords uh, from this list you can see the best movers in richmond va we can also um, uh, do these keywords this is also good but we can also use this keyword as a secondary keywords right you can also do that because you can see this type of listing site is here uh, forbes is not a uh, uh, company that are providing only moving service right forbes is a news based site so we can uh, um, we can beat them if we if we uh, uh, create trust on google i uh, by providing valuable content on this particular topic you can see this keyword is uh, targeting and also getting rank so here you can see uh, more or less uh, they are ranking they are ranking for uh, same keywords because uh, for this uh, particular niche uh, they are not be different types of uh, variation right so because uh, that people are not uh not searching for different types of information also for this service right so this is why the, the service related keyword are very low as per uh, my uh, uh, research okay uh, uh, we are going to uh, go ahead and uh, uh, find uh, and see the what the uh, other steps uh, we are going to cover so after we got uh, those uh, keywords from our top competitors we are going to analyze uh, analyze on the content right this is also very important so if this our main competitors then we are going to know how many key, how many words they have covered in their home page right to know what, what types of content we should generate right so if we uh, use an extension uh, called word count uh, in extension we can easily uh, get that extension uh, if we if you use that extension and uh, we can easily usually see uh, the word count for a particular page right uh, so here you can see 668 words has used in their home page right and if we see <coughs> if they have used the keywords which you have already uh, found as our main keyword so right so this is our main keywords right as per uh, a quick research we have all found this keyword as our main keywords and we are going to uh, search this keyword uh, here if they have used this keyword their site is is or not right so if we find and if we search this keyword then we can see they have not used it means they have not targeted for this home for they have not targeted this keyword for their home page right so they have uh, targeted these keywords let me check again you can see this they have targeted this keyword but have not optimized in proper way right so only used one times the, this keyword but if this is our main keyword if this is our main keyword we have we will do uh, optimize in a best way right so how we can do that we will discuss uh, in later in this video so we have already got idea the home page uh, keywords uh, in our uh, of our competitors and also know uh, the number of words they have covered in their home page right so we are going to uh, cover uh, around 1000 word in our home page right so um, always try to uh, write something uh, unique information rather than our competitors right okay now we are going to know how many page our competitor has this is also uh, very important uh, for us to know for this we are going to know the side maps of this site 
this is the uh, area where google bot can easily uh, know how many page are post or different or any category types of page this site has right so uh, as per uh, side map we can see they they have all three side maps one is called uh, post side map page side map and another is category side map so for the post side map if we open that then we can see they have there has almost 57 url it means they have already published 57 post right this is very good and we can we can follow those follow those urls or uh, follow those uh, content and easily target that type of content in our site right so before going to start our business we have to re do research in this way so that we can uh, do better than our competitors right and if we see how many pages they have then then you can see uh, around 60 urls right this is also good here here you can see different type of information they have covered in their page and we can also see how many what they have covered so if we uh, if we try to cover this uh, keywords in our page then how many keywords uh, they have covered uh, we should know also right so so that we can create a more valuable content than our competitors right otherwise we will not able to rank better than this competitor right so this is also very important factor so we have already know how many words has used in the in their home page how many page they have how many category they have and how many blogs post or informational content they have covered in their sites right so now we are going to find the nlp term this is very very important term that google uh, wants to use in our sites right so how we can find that nlp term for this we are going to use uh, one premium tool called neuron writer right so if we open neuron writer and do a query for this particular keywords then this tool will help us to provide the nlp that google wants to have in content right so it will take few seconds after that we are going to do keyword analysis optimization it means uh, in which area we are going to target those keywords right so let's see if a neuron writer has covered that process or not yeah 80 percent already covered let's wait a few more seconds 86 yeah so if we open that then you can see here a, a complete information has provided the first computer has uh, provided content uh, around 949 watts the second one is 1901 1831 these are the uh, word length of uh, our computers right so first computer second computer third computer in this way they have uh, arranged right so we are going to jump on the nlp section this is a very good tools right not only nlp we can also get how many uh, uh, how many is, uh, headings right uh, how many headings they have uh, in our computer side it is help, very helpful and so you can see these are the nlp terms that google wants to have in the content so if we uh, if we want to cover this keyword in our home page then this type of words this type of nlp term should be there right so if we see the richmond richmond uh, an, an area name right so the content should have this word because we are going to uh, provide information or you are going to provide service that is related to richmond right so without richmond the content will not be fulfilled to our, uh, will not fulfill needs our computers or our visitor right so we should have this keyword and now this more this is also important because we are going to information we are going to provide information on, on moving company on moving related topics right so this what should have moving service moving companies so google wants this this nlp term should have in content uh, if we want to rank on google top page because people are searching for this type of query on google right and here you can see the terms heading it means 
which terms we should use in our age one tax age one tax right age one tax means we are going to use that keywords in title tag right so before going to start writing our title we, we should have this type of nlp term so that we can rank or create a more powerful age one tag or title tag than our competitors right so this is also for age to tag also so these are the terms or nlp that is very much important right so if we scroll if we check how many uh, nlp term has covered by our computer then uh, it will be a uh, clear idea right so I'm going to take this uh, content and going to paste here. Let's see the how the scores looks like. It's as per uh, these uh, tools, it's showing 28s, right? So we can see the the content has Richmond what mover words mover in reach in Richmond VA, right? So this type of what has there, but you can see this has uh, this what has not uh, has not there. This is why the score is very low, right? So we can add more and more uh, uh, words here and increase that score. The more score we have, the uh, the more quality should be there should be here right so we have all covered the nlp term now we are going to know where should we use the keyword now the use uh, the using of keywords is very must also very important also right so after getting the main keyword and secondary keywords we are going to use the main keyword in age one tag and uh, if, if possible then we should target in the age two tag also right but we are not going to force the age age to uh, force the main keyword to use in age to tag because sometimes uh, it's happened that uh, many people uh, use uh, keywords age one tag age two tag age three tag right so it's it looks very very bad right so if we read this content then that should not that should not look uh, that that does not look natural right so we before going to uh, write age one or age two tag we should be uh, we should know uh, if a reader read this content how the uh, how, how the feel they like right so always try to maintain this type of uh, ratio so if we use the main keyword in age one tag we are going to use their secondary keyword in age one tag also uh, sorry age two tag also right if possible then we can use age two tag but otherwise uh, my suggestion is that use the a uh, secondary keyword in h2 tag right then we will use the main keyword within the first 100 words right so if this uh, our main page then we are going to use the main keyword within this section of first 100 words right so that google can uh, google bot can easily crawl and understand uh, what our page is about now we have already got the uh, secondary keyword lsi keyword right so if this is our main keyword then we can use yes you can we, you can use this keyword also so the secondary keyword right so this is a, just an example to understand how this this keyword is such work right now we we have to now we are going to find what are the blog keywords blog related keywords that we are going to cover right so as per acm ras we have already found that we can see for this uh, to get easily that type of keywords we can add some filters like if we add what in that filter then we can know we should we will know what are the question related keywords that start with what what right you can see what going on virginia what stored by, uh, by so these are the informational keywords that are uh, covered by our computer so we can uh, cover one by one and do interlinking on page seo right side uh, as a result the site structure will be very strong right so um, uh, we are going to discuss one by one for that uh, for that section also 
so now yeah we have already uh, told that let me delete this keyword should be in meta description so though google does not pick that the exact meta description that we have uh, that we are going to so we are going to provide them because google always uh, take the best section that uh, always take the best section from our uh, from our whole page to show a visitor right if we search these keywords if we search this keyword then we can see these are the meta this description that uh, we know as a meta description right so it does not mean uh, this this company has provided particular information for meta description it does not mean that right so google has taken this sentence or words from their whole whole content right so that uh, visitor can understand what is content about right it it, it helps to uh, help to our readers uh, to know that the what is uh, the content is about right so you can see a cheap uh, moving company has highlighted it means this con this uh, content is uh, is all about the cheap moving companies right it means uh, uh, visitors are getting information on this particular in uh, topic right Now we are going to uh, jump the site's structure. So we are we have already found the age one tags. Oh, sorry, uh, one main keyword, secondary keywords, and we are going to uh, cover different types of uh, topic also, right? So for this, uh, a content should have different type of sub information, right? So for this, here we can see we should not miss this because. Uh, many people do, do in this way they uh, they try age 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 three tag then write some contents and again they start uh, uh, targeting age one heading this is not a good idea right so always try to maintain in this way first age one tag then age two then age three right so always maintain this way so that google and and as a human can easily read the content right now after uh, the optimization of tag then we are going to uh, focus on interlinking right this is a very very much important uh, for uh, flowing the link juice from one page to another page of this site right so without interlinking the the, the different types of page will be impossible impossible to rank right because if our home page has the main keyword then then different types of topic uh, that we are going to cover should the interlink with home page otherwise this type of key or this type of topic right this type of topic which you have covered that does that that will not rank very fast so this structure will helps to improve uh, the ranking as well as the website authority right so you can see topic one topic two uh, topic uh, b c d these are the topic it may it should be in this way we can see here you can see local moving local distance moving so these are the category or these are the page and if we open that then we can see they have uh, they might interlinking the, from this page to another one if we scroll down you can see uh, they have not linked yet but if they do then easy to us for, uh, for easy to them for ranking those that url also right if they uh, interlink suppose they have uh, covered this keywords or this content on the another um, page of this site so so that this company can easily interlink this uh, uh, this keyword interlink from this keyword to that uh, the post also right so the google can easily crawl that post from this uh, page right so in this way google can crawl uh, different types of url very easily right so this is very important uh, to do interlinking in proper way you can see the, again the, the another topic is interlinking with that page right the silo structure the silo structure is also very uh, technical term in seo uh, if we see this image then we are going to uh, get a clear idea how the website structure uh, should like 
should be website structure look like right so here we can see about a service areas so these are the areas pages and then under that these are the sub pages right so google can easily understand like uh, suppose junk removal is a page right so google can easily understand where the junk removal page is, is uh is uh, from where the, they can easily crawl that junk removal page they will first visit the home page and then service area after that easily crawl that junk removal right so if i read this content junk removal content then uh, it will be very easy for us to uh, to indicate from where uh, to from where i can get that content right so if we click here then we can easily uh, visit that section right so uh, for, uh, for google as well as uh, visitor uh, are very uh, get very benefit for this uh, for this right and finally we are on op page seo and here we can see the backlink analysis right so we have uh, found our competitors and we are going to know uh, the backlink structure of our competitors right so for this we will take the competitors and and search for the backlinks right here we can see 2.6k backlinks this competitor has but we will see uh, how many backlink good backlinks they have most of the time uh, different types of spammy backlinks they have created by using any tools if we filter if we add some filter active uh, links by domain one and follow links then the number of backlinks sh should be low yeah we can see they have only uh, their backlinks they have got backlink from five 500 around sites these are the very uh, good back let's see Here you can see this is a contextual link this is a uh, very good links and they have used the anchor text on the fly moving guy so if we find this they have taken links from here right so this is a good quality backlinks and we are always try to get this type of backlinks right but uh, one thing is, I want to mention that this type of backlinks is costly also because uh, most of the time the website owner or blogger or webmaster needs some fees to provide uh, provide the links right and also it is also time taking process uh, we have to do reach out those compete those competitors url and um, ask, ask and then then negotiate and after that we can take links so this is also uh, a good one let's let me check that you can see this is uh, this might be informational uh, contextual backing you can see this is a contextual backing this is a very good one right this is very good backlinks and and we can we can get this type of backlinks if we uh, reach out those sites and, uh, and ask them to to uh, to provide backlinks us also so we can uh, we have already got the clear idea how the backlink strategy uh, is work and how we can get different types of links right so at initial stage we can start with a profile link forum links web to links because right so uh, if we if we target our uh, keywords uh, by following uh, our strategy and then uh, then it will be very easy to rank without uh, spending a uh, lots of fees on link building we can also rank because we are going to uh, focus on very low competitive keywords right and now uh, the the final stage is that anchor text ratio this is uh, most of the people ignore this section because if we uh, does not maintain the ratio of anchor text then google can um, uh, penalize our site at uh, any time right if we see these sites uh, uh, has created backlink uh, created backlink by maintaining the ratio so you can see the naked url they have used for backlinks sometimes they have given the 
the uh, uh, domain name then uh, website uh, you use their website uh, as a anchor text then sometimes they have used the their uh, main keyword this is these are the generic keywords right so um, these are the uh, keywords they have used for the uh, anchor for as anchor text right so that uh, they have they can maintain the anchor text ratio right so uh, i hope this information uh, will help you a lot uh, to uh, grow up your business right so if you have any other question you can ask me i will be happy to help you and uh, finally if you have get benefited um, uh, by watching this video then please uh, do like and subscribe our channel right so we'll meet on our next video thank you